guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. Welcome to Breland's Books. And today is Friday. I had some weird stuff this morning where I was like, is today Saturday or is today Friday? And I got really confused. And it's just been a weird week. But it's Friday. Today I'm going to be doing my top five trilogies, yeah, that I own and have read completely. Because I have trilogies that I own and haven't read or haven't finished or things of that nature. These are my fav- oh, I'm sorry. These are my top five favorite trilogies of the one I own, and I'm not gonna be going in any particular order, really. Um, I don't have- I, I can't pick one that's my favorite, honestly, because the second I try to, then I, I get really- I'm like, no, but this one, so no particular order. I could decide, though, that these are the five. I think I own, like, so I've got, like, ten- nine or ten trilogies, and then this- these are my- so these are my favorite of those. Yep. So I'm just going to hop right into it and just talk about why I like each of the trilogies and hope that my voice doesn't do weird stuff. The first trilogy that I have today is the Dorothy Must Die trilogy by Danielle Page. I've heard someone say that there's like going to be more or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. I just heard it. So I haven't like looked it up to see if it's true. It could be false. It could be not false. I don't know. But currently it's a trilogy. Um, and then there's also the novellas. I have one of the novellas that I need to read. The novella bind ups. I'm sorry. I like this trilogy because I think it was really unique. Hello, singer. I thought it was very unique and um, the way that Oz was, what happened to Oz, and I loved all the different characters that were brought in and incorporated. I just thought it was really cool and a very unique twist on a classic story. And I really liked the narrator of the main character. What's her name? I forgot for a second. Amy Gum. I really like Amy Gum and her pink hair and I like the other characters and I like how a lot of the characters you don't really know if they're good or bad and it's not really about that and I just I enjoyed it a lot and yeah and singer what's in your fur right here you have eye boogies your mom gets mad when you have eye boogies the next trilogy that I have for you guys is the fifth wave trilogy by Rick Yancey I adored this trilogy um this first and third were definitely my the first was definitely my favorite with Dorothy Must Die, I couldn't pick a favorite. But with this one, the first one's definitely my favorite. But I also really liked the third one. And there were just... This was just like one big mind... Like, you, I never knew what was going on completely. And I, in a good way, though. Like, some stories, I don't know what's going on because it's confusing. But for this one, it was just because it's so complicated and there's so much happening. And, like, there's so many twists and turns and what? And it, it was just fantastic. It's amazing and I love all the characters and I love the ending made me sad but I was, it felt appropriate to me please stop licking my foot please stop licking my foot um, so I enjoyed this a lot I would really like to see like a pre a novella bind up of the characters before everything happened I think that would be really interesting just to know who they were before all of the bad stuff that happened and the next one, I only have two of the books because my mom's reading it, but The Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver. I adored the, th um, the third one is probably actually my favorite on this one, which is rare. Um, I, my mom's borrowing the first one right now, so I don't have that one. She has it with her. But I really liked this trilogy. I thought it was a really cool concept, and I thought it was executed very nicely. And I think she does beginnings and endings very well. It just, it started very nicely for me, and it ended perfectly, in my opinion. And yes, I just love it. Goodbye, singer. Oh, she was keeping me warm. Now I'm a little cold. I adored all the characters, and I think the relationships were very natural and very believable. And yes, I especially enjoyed in the third one how she, how Lena was confronted with the the negative sides of love and the negative feelings that can come from love, like grief and loss. And I liked seeing her deal with that particularly how she did in the third one um the second one we got to see her deal with it a lot more but with it a lot but in the third one she was definitely like this can turn us into monsters and like it can have negative effects on our lives and stuff like that so she was really seeing both sides of it but still choosing love because she understood that the good outweighed the bad and I think that that's that was important so I enjoyed it the next trilogy would, if you've seen any, pretty much any of my other videos, I've probably talked about this at least once, um, so it's no surprise that it's on this list, and that is the Firebird trilogy. I adored it. Um, 
uh, I don't know. I am really fascinated by the idea of multiple dimensions, which is in the multiverse, which is why I'm writing a book about it. But I enjoyed this storyline and how it dealt so much with your capacity for good and your capacity for evil and how just because you know one version of you is bad doesn't mean that you're bad and like just because and really acknowledging that in a multiverse in a world with infinite universes every possibility will happen which means you can't always be the good guy and I think that was really interesting to see the characters confronted with it especially when the main character because the first character to be confronted with it was Theo and then Paul was confronted with it pretty intensely in the second one and then in the third one we got to see the main character character Marguerite deal with it so she could really understand what her friends were going through and what and I just I adored the entire aspect of it and I liked how in certain dimensions the bad guy wasn't the bad guy and it was just very cool very interesting to me and the covers I've Every time I talk about this, I just have to acknowledge the covers. I really want to get a hardback version of this one at some point, just so I can have, like, all three looking all beautiful like this. I think that'd be very, very, very cool. Hi, babe. Do you need something? Or are you just awake now? She's been wanting to wake up for, like, two hours. My, my, my parents leave at 8, and then they bring her, and she goes in my room. And so, like, since she's come in my room this morning, she's been wanting to be awake and up and doing something. And I've been like, no. I kept setting, like, t alarms for, like, every half hour. And then I would just turn them off. And I would turn on another one. Whoopsies! The last trilogy that I have for you guys today is one that, of course, it would be on here. It's the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare. I love Cassandra Clare's books. I They're not perfect. I will acknowledge the flaws in them and the problems. I will. I'm not like blind to them, but I still love them and I love the characters and I love the world that she's created. So I, I adore them. Um, I do. I understand people's issues with her. I respect that completely. And I'm not saying that I'm like, but I, I enjoy her writing. I, I can say that very honestly. And I think this series in particular was so well done. And it's the only time that a love triangle has, like, stumped me. And I think I talked about that in my video ye that I posted yesterday. So you guys check that out. Musical theater tag. I think that all the characters were very, um, unique and could stand on their own two feet. And I just love Tessa Gray. I love how much they talked about reading and books and how important it was. And the, the like, ah, uh, I just love it. And I think it just showed very good sides of the shadow hunter world you know i just i'm really excited because in a cup i don't i think next year she's releasing a book about tessa and will's children and we got a little glimpse of him of them in the shadow hunter chronicles but she's gonna do a whole um sequel series on them from these and i'm really excited for that i think that'll be really really cool and it's kind of cool because there's like in Clockwork Princess, there's a, there's this family tree that shows like who got married to who and had what kids. So like we kind of know like which kids end up marrying who. And so I'm excited to see how that plays out in the, in the books. So yeah, yeah. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know what your favorite trilogies are, if any of these are your favorites, or what your favorites are. All right, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Tell me. Just talk to me. Talk to me. Why not? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate it. And I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes on Thursday when I can't on Wednesday. Oops. Uh, I would love it if you guys would subscribe and check out more what if what i will see you all on monday have a great couple of days read a good book Mwah!